I'm sure you all remember Raw Bliss, aka the delusional fruit boy that has been sucked too far into the cognitive dissonance of a vegan diet and we can no longer dig him out of his pot of vegan gold. What I found absolutely hysterical was his recent massage parlor experience in Malaysia. Hello everyone. This is Austin from Raw Bliss. The way he says Raw Bliss, it's just irritating, like in a blissful way. This is Austin from Raw Bliss. My name is Austin, and this is Raw Bliss. This is Austin from Raw Bliss. Hey guys, it's Raw Bliss. Bliss. Like it's some glorification of the name, and it shows how delusional he really is. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Wow, I just had the most awkward massage ever. So I was just, uh, you know, I saw this um, oriental foot reflexology is what it's called. And then when I went in there, they said uh, body massage, 40 ringgit. You know, which is the typical price, it's like $10. I'm like, okay. Um, but they don't do foot massage, even though it's called foot reflexology. So I thought that was a little weird, but I'm like, okay. Shouldn't your first hint have been that you were entering a massage parlor in Malaysia? You know, this place was near my hostel. So I'm like, yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's give them a shot. Um, it's a Chinese place. And then I went in, the massage room, very small room. Uh, the table was shorter than my body. My feet were up against the wall. And um, yeah, very small room, very cold. Uh, people yelling at each other in Chinese. It's like in the back of a Chinese restaurant. Um, yeah, it was quite interesting. One of the, um, one of the worst, if not the worst, massage I've ever had. I mean, her technique was alright, um, but the pressure, like, she just didn't put any pressure, like, it was lame. And, uh, yeah, they didn't, she didn't touch my feet or my hands the entire massage, which I thought was a little strange, um, especially since they don't offer foot massage, like I thought it would be included in the body massage. But yeah, about halfway through the massage, she uh, just pulls off my shorts. I'm like, okay. And like not even under a sheet or anything, just like bare ass in the cold air conditioned room. <laughs> and she's just like, just doing really strange uh, massage movements. Like, I, I don't know, she'd just do one leg and then all of a sudden she'd move to my arm or like do my neck or something. She actually gave me a really nice neck massage. I, can't lie about that. Really nice neck, shoulder massage. Um, really good down the down the spine area. But yeah, everything else was just kind of subpar. And then like she, you know, she threw my uh, threw my shorts across the room and was like. Uh, and then she was like, turn over, you know, for the next part of the massage. Oh, it's a blimbing tree. It's in the starfruit family. Anyways, uh, she's like, turn over. I'm like, uh, can I, can I have my shorts? And that was very strange, very strange experience. But yeah, she definitely like brushed against my, my balls like a few times during the massage, like. Does anyone really believe this guy? What is he doing in these countries going into massage parlors if that isn't what he wanted? Like, come on. Um, I don't know if she was doing it on purpose, but now I definitely 
think she was. And then during the end of the massage, she definitely like reached up inside my shorts and like touched my penis. Or at least like brushed the tip of my penis. And I was like, okay, this is really weird. And then she, uh, you know, she gestured. She's like, um, you know, cause she doesn't speak English. She gestured like, oh, you want to point it at my penis. She's like, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and then I just. I'm sure many of you guys, myself included, would have paid good money to see the comedy skit of this awkward vegan leprechaun's clammy face trembling with fear as he is alone with a woman. Yeah, I kind of, that was like the end of the massage, of course, so she asked me for a happy ending. This has never happened to me before in like my entire, you know, one and a half years of travel in Asia. I've had amazing massages. Um, many, like probably 30, 30 to 40 massages. Um, never had this experience. This is really like absurd. I thought it was a myth actually. I didn't think people actually, this actually happened to people. And um, yeah, I guess, you know, you just get a shitty massage and then people go there to get jerked off. You know, I think he was just disappointed it was an Asian woman instead of a man. Otherwise, he might have been able to get his pee pee up. So yeah, that was my little experience. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't know why I still ended up paying them. Um, yeah, really absurd, really awkward. Um, not something I'm interested in at all. I know some people would be into that, but um, not me. So yeah, thought I'd share that with you guys. So bizarre. But uh, yeah, meeting up with my friend Kane, his girlfriend, dad probably, uh, head to the night market and get some Dubai and some juicy fruits. After complaining about a woman giving him a massage, he runs off to the fruit market with his boyfriend. I mean, to be fair, most vegan boys do look more like girls, but it doesn't end here, boys. He tries to do push-ups with the twigs he calls arms. You know what's funny? The vegans will just say he's not eating enough lentils for his protein. Oh wait, I think I know what it is. He didn't fuel up on enough vegan sushi beforehand. I'm making sushi for the first time. Got some cucumber noodles, some lettuce, and nori sheets. And I'm gonna put some of this on there. Goodness. And I'm gonna roll it up. I put like at least 10 to buy. And these are amazing quality, so good. I tried cutting it and it just fell apart, so try it just like this. Mmm. Oh my god. Salty, buttery, mashed potato-like. Mm. A bit cheesy, crunchy, herbal. Wow, this is really good seaweed too. Good lettuce, good cucumber, good Dubai. Mm. Cucumber noodles, lettuce, nori sheets and some type of fruit 
How deprived is your diet? How much are you starving yourself that eating something like this is enjoyable? He takes a bite out of it. Oh, it's, it's, you can't, it's ridiculous. This is one aspect of a vegan diet that isn't talked about enough. When you're depriving yourself of animal nutrition to that extent, eating cardboard every day, the food starts tasting good. He's craving fat so badly, all he thinks of when he eats durian is peanut butter. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I mean, this is amazing. the one. Yes. Out of this world. So I just studied on my parents' it's like, property and I had a veggie. It's like peanut butter, butter frosting you know, like, <laughs> with like vanilla buttercream. But this, the texture is so like, I don't know how to say this in, in, in English. Yeah, yeah. But melt in your mouth. And, mm. and then they said, you go to see the psychiatrist. Like, you got medical discharge. Wow, my mouth is numb. I mean, at least he's getting some insects in his diet that might be keeping him alive. One that might have been as good or better when I was here the first time, like three months ago. But this is it. I can't see any. Absolutely incredible during 19 ringgit per night. What's sickening is that these people are so wrapped up in their fantasy that they think they're enlightened enough to give people advice. I find durian helps a lot with filtering the kidneys. If you, if you look at the durian fruit, it actually looks like kidneys, like on the inside. Some people say it looks like the lungs, it's like I can see that, but you know, to me it looks like kidneys. So there's a lot of fruits like that, like mangosteen looks like a brain. So that's interesting. So this is um, what I've noticed, and my friend Ollie uh, at Flavors of Light, shout out to Ollie if you're watching, he's, um, he's been preaching about this sedentary lifestyle for, you know, over a year, and look at the results like he's having, like, it's amazing all this, this pus, this mucus, this dark colored, like, disgusting smelly stuff that's coming out of him like i'm i met him in borneo and i saw the stuff that was coming out and it's like it's not pretty and he's been on the fruitarian lifestyle about as long as i have for four years and yeah, he's getting some amazing results durian looks like a kidney so it filters your kidneys Living a sedentary lifestyle is ideal? Yeah, I guess that's right. When you're starving yourself to death on a vegan diet and your massive autoimmune reactions are causing your body to leak fluids. I have to constantly take a step back and get myself to realize how crazy some people are. It can be hard for a logically thinking or objective person to understand that someone's brain isn't working properly. In this case, we're referring to vegans, but this can be branched out to anyone in multiple aspects of life. The problem with vegans is that it's such an obviously harmful lifestyle, but glorified for its supposed health, environment, and moral benefits. It's the worst of the worst, but sold as the best of the best. What's new though? We've been doing this for what, like two years now and it doesn't seem like anything's changed. So thank you guys for joining me. If you'd like to make a change, definitely share the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, of course, thumbs up, like the video. If you guys wanna support me further, if you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out my book down in the description below, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. You can also go to Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Naturals, and frank-defino.com. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Oh,